final Maroon Buzz Weekly of the 2023 to 2024 school year. With the seniors gone, the school was as empty as ever, but the graduation ceremony was packed. Let's take a look. Wow, I'm gonna miss Emily, Araceli, and Allison. Before they finished their last day of school, the girls surprised Miss Bailey with parting gifts, and Miss Bailey sent many thank yous to them. Also, we need to give Emily a special shout out, as she was one of the recipients of the Superintendent's $2,000 Scholarship Award. Congratulations to Emily and the other Elgin High recipients. We're proud of you. We also wanna give another shout out to the AVID team. They finished this year strong too. When you get a chance, check out the AVID newsletter. Who said it doesn't cost a thing to be kind? Miss Bailey's mom. And on that note, we have the sponsor from the Random Acts of Kindness Club. We have the sponsor from the Random Acts of Kindness Club here to send a message for the end of the school year. So without further ado, Mr. Graf, take it away. Hi, my name is Mr. Graf. I am the sponsor of the Random Acts of Kindness Club. Um, so a little bit about our club, if you don't know, is that we started last year um, with all of our, uh, with the counselors and the pages, and we kind of wanted to recreate the energy in the student services office. Um, we all get along. It's all um, a lot of fun, and we all support each other, and we were thinking, how do we spread that kind of message to the rest of the school? Um, then an idea came about where um, they talked about the Random Acts of Kindness Day, and then I thought, why not turn it into a club? Why well, just make it a day? And it's kind of now turned into this club where we spread kindness throughout the school, um, and we just have fun doing that. So, yeah. I guess I just have a question. So is this directly correlated with the Random Acts of Kindness Foundation? It is. It is. Um, we, we use uh, the idea and the philosophies that they promote, and we do that at the school. Um, it, they do a lot more community-based work, but however, we thought we'd start small and just promote kindness randomly throughout the school. Um, mm -hmm. We really believe in the idea of connectedness and promoting the well-being of each other. You know, our motto is we all rise by lifting each other up. So the more we can promote that, the more we feel um, the school can serve as a safe and connected place for all students to be. So I recall you guys had post notes, I think, and then uh, kindness announcements on the TVs. So what other things are you guys looking forward to doing for next year? Yeah, that's actually a good point. So funny story about that is that the post-its were actually done by a staff member in our student services office. Um, she took it upon herself to wanting to spread kindness in, in that regard, which kind of just correlated with the startup of the Random Acts of Kindness Club. So like I said, a lot of that energy was happening in our student services office. We just wanted to make it into a club. Um, yeah, we do, um, if you didn't know, we do kindness messages on the Commons TVs and the library TVs. Um, if you submit a kindness message, you can get entered into a raffle. Uh, we also then started doing random kindness announcements about a student or a teacher. So Ms. Witt was one of the teachers. Um, we also had another young man who uh, got selected. And then we do, we are cre uh, have a phone line. I can't tell you what the extension is yet, but it is a kindness phone line where you will type in an extension and you'll hear messages that you can listen to from our mini maroons or our teachers, uh, encouragement for athletes, for grades, for your um, self-esteem, or even for just your, your look. Um, so we're really excited about 
getting those things going to begin the next school year. Wow, that's incredible. So how do you join this club? Right. Yeah, great question. So uh, we don't really promote too much. We just over the announcements. The way to begin the joining the club is every other Thursday we meet um, in the room across. We call it the fishbowl. I, I think it's 248E across from the library. Um, you'll see us because we're kind of, if you ever go out um, and walk the hallways during that time, we give out donuts. And it's kind of by, we always give out donut holes. Um, some staff members are very knowledgeable about when we're coming out there because they always try to grab some. But um, it is across from the library uh, Thursday mornings. Uh, everyone's welcome, 715. Um, and, yeah, we just hope to start the next school year um, with the idea that kindness is contagious. And in the, when that is the message that we're spreading, um, we hope then that more students will want to be supporting each other and make this a place where They'll want to be doing activities, staying after school, supporting each other, and just being a genuine place where we can all connect. So you mentioned the staff. Exactly what do you do in this school at general? <laughs> sure, sure. So you might see my, my face on a few of these posters with QR codes on them. I'm one of the school social workers. Uh -huh. So um, in regards to that, we, we help students with just things that are impacting them here at school, um, with helping them be their best selves and manage their own emotional and behavioral self. So um, making sure that they can just be okay here and um, working with them in that regard. So um, open door policy, come on in any time. Um, but if you want to schedule an appointment and you fall within the alpha slices, go ahead and just scan the QR code. But um, I like that you asked that because at the end of the day, Elgin High School has lots of supports in a lot of different places and not just within what our teaching staff and you know wanting to help you. We're also going to keep continuing to make clubs and different organizations that help support students in a variety of ways. So this is just with the Random Acts of Kindness Club, just another way to support overall student engagement and connectedness and make everyone feel welcome. Wow, well this is certainly a good fit for you to be a social worker and running this club. It showcases that role and that it's very nice. Yeah, it's, it's not, you know, something that we say a lot is that we don't like own kindness. Like the, the Random Acts of Kindness Club, because we're all human beings and we all have our faults and you know, we're not our best selves all the time. And that's okay. Um, we don't own kindness in any respect. Um, but if any students or teachers are interested in wanting to join or be part of it, we get lots of people who are interested and they help out in some capacity. So um, we welcome anyone to come by, um, support the club. Again, yes, a social worker, I think it kind of plays into that a little bit, but that's just that's just a lucky coincidence, I suppose you could say. You know, any, any staff member can be part of this or spread kindness in their own way. Well, do you have anything else you'd like to add before we end this interview? Well, yeah, just at the end, you know, at the end of the day, um, start next school year, we really want to go with the idea that kindness is contagious and that we all rise by lifting others. Well, there you have it. Kindness is contagious. So say it with me. Kindness, kindness is, is contagious. contagious. Summer is here, so enjoy yourself, relax, and have fun. For it will fly and August will be here before you know it. Class of 25, it's our last summer in high school. Let's make it count. Come back here refreshed and ready as seniors. Breaking news! The bus would like to announce its newest member, Chris Galarza! Uh, hey. hey Chris, Hello. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself here. Okay, so uh, I'm Chris Galarza, freshman. I like animating, that's what I want to be when I get older. Um, I like gaming for fun, and I like art. My sister inspired me to do that. So, how did your sister inspire you to do art? Uh, she's been like showing me her art, and like it just gave me confidence. So yeah, that's really why I want to do it. Well, then shout out to your sister. Yes, <laughs> definitely. I'm gonna show her this. <laughs> You're showing her this. Video. And again, so what would you like to accomplish while during your time here at the Buzz? Well, nothing really. I just it seems pretty cool that. They do this so that's why i wanted you to join well that's awesome thank you we're so glad to welcome you to the bus team Woo! as our three seniors have spread their wings and flown from the nest we're scouting new members are you interested would you like to join the bus too if you do stop one of us in the hallway and let us know or see miss bailey please help and that's it for this school year and, and enjoy your summer break. And we'll see you in August. And that's a wrap. Bye. Bye.